Television continues as the dominant force when people look for entertainment, but the radio retains its unique charm. On today's Style Watch, we go to a radio studio in Shanghai dedicated to the art of professional storytelling. Whenever listeners tune in, they can enjoy listening to stories told the old-fashioned way, from mystery stories to fairy tales. In every culture and in every land, stories have been shared as a means of entertainment, education, and preservation of culture. Stories are an indispensable, vital part of each one of our journeys of growth, and there is hardly a person who dislikes hearing one. Good. No, it was good. When I lie down in my bed and I just read story, and mommy read the grunt. Reading story very much. From when I was small, I always remember my mother reading to me before bed. A lot of parents that travel a lot, they will record um, a story onto a their MP3 player or CD, and then leave it for their other parent to play for the kids before bedtime. I think there might be some new mediums for storytelling. That's certainly true. And here in Shanghai, the participation of radio has changed the tools available to storytellers. 你好，我是一零七二侦探社的超人探长。那天早晨，我接到一个报案电话，有一位叫苏珊的时装模特儿被人勒死在自己的高级公寓里。在案发现场，我看到死者的右手指上缠着几根烫过的头发。Now, any time you switch on the radio, you can have the pleasure of listening to stories, thanks to Story Radio at 107.2 on the FM dial. 收听在路上，下班新时尚。大家好，我是。From mysteries to fairy tales, the interesting format provides listeners with a rich source to satisfy their own story choices. As the only station in Shanghai exclusively devoted to the art of professional storytelling. It provides a constant stream of teaching, explaining, and entertaining. We often use the same way to tell the story in the storytelling method. 演的方式，把一个故事通过角色化的扮演把它演出来，就让大家有一种情景再现的感觉。我们每一次在讲故事的时候，总是会想，哎，今天的这个故事是不是要给大家带去一种什么样的信息，或者是一个什么样的一个道德的观念？我觉得，电台是给了我一种特殊的想象，这个跟这个看小说比较接近的那种想象。第二呢，特别是通过电台，对我的业务有大有好处啊。我可以学普通话，是吧？这还是小的，还是塑造角色对我有很多的帮助。With close personal interaction, an important facet of the relationship between a storyteller and the audience, however, how does radio as a medium fare without the facial expression and gestures we've come to expect? 可能以前说到讲故事的话呢，就是一个人说故事，一个人听。然后我们现在希望讲的故事的是形式也非常的多元化。跟以前不同的就是，可能是我们在直播室里这个小小的空间在讲，但是你会通过短信平台看到很多很多在下班路上，可能在堵车途中的朋友一块参与到这个故事来。What's more, some artists, writers, and publishers are invited to be consultants in order to improve the quality of the station's programs. Stories are chosen using a comprehensive evaluation system that takes into account the top ten best-selling books, experts' views, and audiences' votes. Stories and books that find their way on air inevitably influence listeners' future choices. This time, the story radio has a very big advantage. We also have to recommend good books, encourage reading. We will also have the hot air shows and the popular stories. First, we will take it to our listeners. Nowadays, mass media entertainment. Is highly visual and predicated on the manipulation of cutting-edge multimedia. Traditional stories are frequently adapted for the big screen and television, such as The Little Prince or Harry Potter. But maybe if you just let your ears follow the oral trail of a storyteller's stream of words, it will remind you of a more fabulous childhood.